Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing the Monolith 32. Now this is a hunting shotgun load manufactured by Duplex. It's a flat-nosed steel slug that's meant to be incredibly accurate, and it's supposed to penetrate through barriers and continue along its original trajectory. Now to test that, you can tell we have a different testing setup than normal. Instead of just having our ballistics gelatin block, we've actually got an inch of wood for our steel slug to penetrate through. Eight inches behind that, we have our first block of ballistics gelatin, and then we brought out our original very dark now block of ballistic skeleton. Uh, we mainly just use this for explosives and melee weapons now because it's nice and dirty and you can't really tell what's inside of it. Uh, but we're hoping that it will capture our slug so we can see if it deformed at all because that's another selling point of the Monolith 32. It's supposed to maintain its original shape. Okay guys, so we've taken a better look at our gel and this is what we've come up with. The slug came out of the shotgun at 1591 feet per second, which I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's above what they advertise it at. It struck the first panel of wood, and as you can tell, we have our wadding here, which made a pretty big indentation on the half inch piece of wood, and the slug punched right through it, making a clean hole. Uh, then it went on and hit our second piece of wood here, a nice clean entry wound, and the back is just absolutely destroyed. As you can tell, a lot of pieces of wood have flown off here, and they continued on into the block. So if we look at the block, we can tell that there are actually some portions of wood inside the block lodged up to an inch inside of it. The strike was actually kind of low, but it had a very good trajectory through the block. Unlike some rifle rounds we've seen and some pistol ammunition, this thing stayed pretty level as it went through the block. Uh, it left a 0.75 inch cavity as it traveled throughout the block, and it started to seem to get smaller near the end of the block. Maybe it was losing energy, something like that. Uh, it overpenetrated and hit our second block, but what's interesting is that we have a bunch of wood debris on the front of our second block, which means that this slug must have pulled all that wood throughout the entire block of ballistic skeleton. Now, that doesn't mean much for you guys, but that means it's going to be really fun to clean later for me. Uh, as it continued on through the block, this is where we start to see some sort of uh, deviation from the flight path. Actually, it penetrated only to about the four or five inch mark where it uh, went down, and then at that point, the slug exited the block and struck the table and it left a pretty big indentation in here and stopped and we have the slug here and this is at the four inch mark in the second block and what's interesting is there's actually no deformation on the slug at all. This is exactly what Duplex advertised. Uh, its performance was absolutely outstanding. I would highly recommend this for hunting and uh, tactical use. I would be interested to see if it can breach doors like they claim it can but after seeing this test here I have no doubt that it probably could. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please share it. We're trying to get a new block of ballistic gelatin, but they're about 130 bucks. So uh, if you guys share this video, it really helps us out. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a nice day.